Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful little cardigan sweater, coat, or jacket for baby boys and girls between zero and three months. It's absolutely beautiful and super easy to make, so I hope you like it. Now, I made this little jacket to match the baby booties and the little hat that I showed you already in my channel. Stay tuned for the matching baby pants and the matching baby blanket. I'll go ahead and show you that in another tutorial. Now, the little jacket that we're going to make in the tutorial, like I said is for zero to three months but you can easily make it smaller or bigger i'd say from a newborn size and up to 12 months in the information box below i'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out and as always if you prefer a written pattern check out my etsy shop i'll leave the link to my etsy shop in the information box below thank you so much for your support now to crochet this little cardigan sweater and actually the whole set, this is the yarn that I used. I used DK weight, but you can also use any number three yarn or eight ply. For the little jacket, you're going to need about 140 grams, 110 grams in the main color and about 30 grams in white. Now you will need less or more depending on the size that you're making, so keep that in mind. You will also need about five buttons that are 12 millimeter size. Okay, let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos. And if you like this tutorial, please hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching. To begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. You can also use any number three yarn or a ply. At the beginning of the video, I showed you the yarn that I'm using and I told you how much yarn I'm going to need for the size that we're making here. So here to begin, I have my chain ready. I have 51 chains. Now this chain without stretching, it's measuring about 26 centimeters, which is about 10.25 inches. If your chain is off by one or two centimeters, it's okay. Continue with the first row. So here to begin with the first row into the second chain from the hook make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next and so on. For this first row this is all we're going to do. At the end of this row we're going to have 50 single crochets. Continue, I'll meet you at the end. I finished the first row. In this row we did single crochets. I have a total of 50 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain one and turn. Now here we're going to separate the sleeves, the front panels, and the back side. So for the first front panel, I'm going to make a total of seven single crochets. So beginning from the first single crochet right here, make the first single crochet. In total, like I said, I'm going to make seven. So that's one, into the next, make a single crochet. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven single crochets. This is going to be the first front panel. Now we're going to make the first corner into the next single crochet. We're going to make a single crochet, one chain, single crochet. Now, before we continue, we're going to mark this chain space for this first corner. This is going to make it easier for you, so I highly recommend that you put a stitch marker into this chain space because this is where we're going to be making our increases for every row. Now, for the sleeve, I'm going to make a total of nine single crochets. So into the next single crochet, make the first one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine single crochets. Now into the next single crochet, we're going to make the second corner. So again, make a single crochet, chain one, single crochet into this same stitch here. Now. Again, before you continue, place a stitch marker here into the chain space of this second corner. Now, for the back side, I'm going to make 14 single crochets. So beginning into the next single crochet, make your first single crochet for the back side. That's one, two, three, Four, 
14. I have 14 single crochets for the back side. Now into the next chain, we're going to make the third corner. So make a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, and before you continue, place a stitch marker into the chain space of this third corner. Now we're going to make the second sleeve, and again, I'm going to make nine single crochets. So into the next single crochet, make the first single crochet for the second sleeve, that's one, into the next that's two into the next three and so on until you have nine so finish these nine i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i finished making these nine single crochets for the second sleeve now into the next chain we're going to make the fourth corner so make a single crochet chain one single crochet and before you continue mark this fourth corner Now here we should be left with seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to finish this row by making these last seven single crochets for the second front panel. There, here's the second row. At the end of this row, I have 54 single crochets. We started this row with seven single crochets, then we have the first corner, then we made nine single crochets, then we have the second corner, then we have 14 single crochets for the back side, the third corner, then nine single crochets for the second sleeve, the fourth corner and then finish here with these last seven single crochets so including the stitches that we did here into the corners you should have 54 single crochets now for the third row chain one and turn now in this row we're going to work one single crochet into each one of these single crochets until we come to the chain space into each one of the chain spaces that is where we're going to make our increases so that at the end of each row we increase by eight stitches so beginning into the first single crochet make a single crochet into the next that's two eight i have eight single crochets and now i have the first chain space here of this first corner now into this chain space of the first corner right there we're going to make a single crochet chain one single crochet and before you continue mark this corner right there now we're going to continue with the next set of stitches so into the next single crochet make a single crochet that's one eleven we have eleven single crochets now we have the second corner into the chain space here make a single crochet chain one single crochet before you continue return your stitch marker and mark the corner here into the chain space now continue along and do the same thing for the back side and then into each one of the chain space where we have the stitch markers you're going to do the same thing i did here single crochet chain one single crochet continue finish this third row i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this third row i have 62 single crochets at the end of this row now for the fourth row chain one and turn here i'm going to make one single crochet for this front panel until i come to the first corner so beginning into the first single crochet make a single crochet that's two nine i have the first corner here remove the stitch marker and into this chain space here make a single crochet chain one single crochet now return the stitch marker to mark this corner and now continue along into the next single crochet make a single crochet that's two three
13 single crochets, remove a stitch marker from the second corner and into the chain space, make a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Return your stitch marker and continue along for the remaining stitches. Now this is how we're going to continue here for this fourth row. In each one of the corners, you're going to do the exact same thing I just showed you here. Continue, finish this fourth row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. At the end of this row, I have a total of 70 single crochets. Now from here on, this is the row that we're going to repeat. All we're going to do are single crochets and into each one of the corners, we do the same thing. A single crochet, chain one, single crochet. And at the end of each row from here on, we're going to increase eight stitches. So to start you off here for the fifth row, we're going to chain one and turn. Here I'm going to make one single crochet into each one of these single crochets for this front panel until I come to the first corner. So beginning into the first, make a single crochet. That's two. Ten single crochets, remove your stitch marker and into this corner, make a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Make sure to return your stitch marker and mark the corner here. Now continue along and make one single crochet into the next section. Make sure you pull this stitch here so that you can see this stitch right there. Sometimes it tends to hide so start there that's one, two, three and so on until you come to the next corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing as I showed you here. Now I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do and I will also give you a stitch count for each row from here on. So repeat this row then I'll meet you at the end of that row. I finished making the yoke. I did a total of 13 rows. Now as it is, it's measuring from here, the top of the shoulder to the end here of this corner. It's measuring about 10 centimeters, which is about four inches. Now the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 19.5 centimeters, which is about 7.75 inches. Now, like I said, I did a total of 13 rows and at the end of the 13th row, I was left with 142 single crochets. Now, now, let me give you the stitch count after the last row that we worked. I believe it was row five. Uh, at the end of the fifth row, you should have had 78 single crochets. At the end of the sixth, 86. At the end of the seventh, 94. At the end of the eighth, 102. At the end of the ninth, 110. At the end of the 10th, 118. At the end of the 11th, 126. At the end of the 12th, 134. And like I said, at the end of the 13th row, I have 142 stitches. Now each one of the front panels has 19 single crochets. For each one of the sleeves, I have 33 single crochets. And for the back side, I have 38 single crochets. So now what we're going to do next is divide the sleeves. This is going to be the first row. We're going Going to start counting again here for the body of the little sweater. So to begin, chain one and turn. Now beginning on top of this first single crochet, make a single crochet and here I'm going to work one single crochet into each one of these 19 single crochets for the front panel. Now we have the first corner here right into this first corner. I'm going to make three single crochets. There. So for this front panel, you should have 22 single crochets. To separate the first sleeve, chain four. That's two, three, four. Now skip 33 single crochets and right into the second corner we're going to make three single crochets. One, two, three, there. Now, if you want to add more chains here under the sleeve, you can. The important thing 
when we finish this first row is that you have an odd number of stitches. Now to continue for the back side here, we're going to make 17 single crochets and right into the next stitch we're going to increase. So beginning into the next single crochet, that's one, Seventeen. Now into the 18th stitch here, make a single crochet increase. That's one and two, two single crochets. Now continue and finish the rest of the stitches here for the back side. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to separate the second sleeve. I finished making the back side. Now into the next corner, I'm going to make three single crochets. One, two, Three. So now for the back side, you should have a total of 45 single crochets. Three plus three plus 38 plus one. That's 45 single crochets. For the back side, to divide the second sleeve, chain four. Skip 33 single crochets and into the fourth corner, make three single crochets. Now continue along and finish this front panel. I will meet you here at the end of this first row. I finished the first row. Now here at the end, I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. At the end of this first row, you should have a total of 97 stitches. Each one of the front panels, you should have 22. For the back side, you should have 45. And under each sleeve, you should have four chains. So that's a total of 97 stitches at the end of the first row where we separated the sleeves. Now to continue, I'm going to continue with this blue yarn. It's DK weight also, and I'm going to continue with the pattern this is the pattern that we're going to use it's the crunch stitch I made these little hats and the booties and many of you commented and asked that I make the matching little cardigans. so we're going to do this now so this is the stitch it's a beautiful stitch it only consists of two stitches a half double crochet and a slip stitch so here to begin if you're not going to change yarn color then just go ahead chain one and turn so for the second row, we're going to begin here on top of the last single crochet that I did in row one, and I'm going to grab a loop here. I'm using the same hook size. Now chain one and right into this first single crochet, make a half double crochet. Now into the next, make a slip stitch. Half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, slip stitch into the next, and so on. Make sure that you make these stitches nice and loose so that in the next row, you are able to see these two stitches, um, especially the slip stitch. That's the slip stitch right there. So make sure that you do these nice and loose. So here I'm going to continue and work these 22 stitches for the front panel here. And I'm going to show you how you're going to work the chains under the sleeve. There, I have the last stitch make a slip stitch into the last single crochet. Now I have the next four chains. I'm going to continue with the same sequence. My last stitch here is a slip stitch. So into the first chain here, make a half double crochet. Into the second, a slip stitch. And into the third, make a half double crochet and into the fourth, a slip stitch. There, now we have the first stitch here for the back side, so you're going to start with a half double crochet and a slip stitch into the next. Half double crochet into the next, 
and a slip stitch into the next and so on so you're just going to continue with the same sequence a slip stitch and a half double crochet across i will meet you here at the end i'm here at the end of the second row this is where we started the pattern here of the crunch stitch my last stitch here is a half double crochet just how we started the row you need to finish the row so we started with a half double crochet we finished the row with a half double crochet that's why the stitch multiple here needs to be with an odd number of stitches now for the third row we're going to chain one and turn now in this third row this is what we're going to do the first row of the pattern we started with a half double crochet so in this second row of the pattern i'm going to start with a slip stitch so on top of the first half double crochet make a slip stitch and here make sure that this slip stitch is nice and loose so that you are able to see these two bars there i'm going to place a stitch marker because i do not want to lose this stitch at the end of the row um, if you do then you're going to be decreasing this part and you're going to be off on your stitch count so you can mark that stitch with a stitch marker now the next stitch here is a slip stitch so make a half double crochet the next stitch is a half double crochet so make a slip stitch the next stitch a half double crochet the next stitch a slip stitch basically what you're doing is in the half double crochets you make a slip stitch and in the slip stitches you make the half double crochet that's why it's important for you to make these stitches nice and loose so, th so that you are able to see where you need to insert your hook especially in the slip stitch it's a smaller stitch and it tends to hide so that's how we're going to continue here for the third row continue i will meet you at the end i'm here at the end of the third row i have the last stitch here i have the half double crochet into the last stitch here make a slip stitch and here's the third row make sure that you always finish in the same way that you start each row so we started with a slip stitch this third row and we finished with a slip stitch now these are the two rows that we're going to repeat from here on so for the fourth row i'm going to chain one and turn now in the previous row we started with a slip stitch in this next row i'm going to start with a half double crochet into the first stitch which was the slip stitch now into the next stitch make a slip stitch then a half double crochet into the next slip stitch into the next and so on and that's all we're going to do here for the rest of the little sweater now continue finish this fourth row at the end of each row we're always going to finish with 97 stitches i'm going to meet you at the end of this row to once again show you how to start and how to finish each row from here on I'm here at the end of the fourth row. I have the last stitch here. Remove that stitch marker. And here at the end, I'm going to finish the row by making a half double crochet because that's how we started the row. You have to finish the row in the same way that you start. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now the fifth row, we're going to start with a slip stitch on top of the first stitch, which is the half double crochet. So make a slip stitch and make sure you mark this stitch that way you know where it is right there now into the next which is the slip stitch make a half double crochet and into the next which is the half double crochet make a slip stitch make sure that these stitches are nice and loose so that when you make the next row you are able to see these stitches especially the slip stitch so this is how you're going to continue for the rest of the row now at the end of each row like i said you're going to always have the same number of stitches which in this case is 97 and all you're doing is just repeating these two rows and the only difference again is that the way how you start each row if you start with a half double crochet in the next row you have to start with a slip stitch and so on now i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so continue 
finish this part and I'll meet you at the end of that row. I finished making this part here. I have a total of 34 rows just in this part here, the blue color, plus the first row that we did where we separated the sleeves. I have a total of 35 rows. Now it's measuring from the top of the shoulder to the end here of the last row. It's measuring about 25 centimeters, which is almost 10 inches. Now what we're going to do here is the hem. So to do this, we want to make sure we're on the correct side from here on this here is going to be the right side this is going to be the wrong side or the inside of the little jacket so make sure that you are on the same side as i am so here to begin at the end of um, row 35 here i just uh, cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop this next row here of the hem we're going to work from the wrong side out so insert your hook there on top of the last stitch which was the slip stitch bring a loop through I'm going to use this white yarn. If you're not changing yarn color, then just go ahead and chain one and turn and right into this first stitch here, make a single crochet. Now, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next and so on. For this row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just making one single crochet for each stitch. So continue like this. I will meet you at the end of this first row to show you how we're going to finish this row. I'm here at the end of this first row here for the hem. We have done single crochets. Now up to here, I have 95 single crochets and I still have two stitches left. Now here at the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the next stitch and right into the last stitch, I'm going to make my last single crochet. And this is how I finish this first row with a total of 96 single crochets for this row. Here, I want to make sure that I finish with an even number of stitches. That's why I skipped one stitch here at the end. Now, for the second row, I'm going to chain two and turn. Now, beginning into the second single crochet, counting from the beginning, one, two, into the second single crochet, make a single crochet, chain one. Skip one single crochet and into the next, make a single crochet, chain one. Skip one and into the next, single crochet, chain one skip one and into the next single crochet chain one and so on and this is how we're going to work the second row continue i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of the second row now here i still have two stitches left i have my last single crochet chain one skip the next stitch and right on top of the last single crochet make a single crochet and this is how i finish the second row with 48 single crochets now for the third row chain two and turn now beginning into the first chain space here, make a single crochet, chain one. Into the next chain space, make a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, into the next, and so on. For this third row, this is all we're going to do. Into each one of the chain spaces, we're going to make our single crochet, chain one. Continue, finish this third row, I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the third row. I have my last single crochet chain one. Now to finish the row into the last chain two space here, make a single crochet. And this is how I finish this third row with a total of 48 single crochets plus the two chains that we did here at the beginning. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. Now in this fourth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the third row. So beginning into the first chain space here, make a single crochet chain one into the next single crochet chain one and so on and this is how we're going to continue for this fourth row into each one of the chain spaces make a single crochet chain one continue for this fourth row i will meet you at the end i finished the fourth row now here at the end i did my last single crochet cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop at the end of this fourth row i had a total of 48 single crochets plus the two chains here at the beginning. Now I cut my yarn because I'm going to continue here along the front panel. This is going to be the right side, so we're going to begin here. This is where I finished also. I'm going to use the blue yarn here, so I'm going to go right into this last single crochet space, and I'm going to grab a loop here. Into this last row here, I'm going to chain one and right into this last stitch here make a single crochet single crochet into the next row single crochet into the next and a single crochet into the next so here i have four single crochets because we did four rows now for this part here what i'm going to do is i'm going to make one single crochet 
at the end of each row here for this part, like this. So continue, I will meet you right here and I'm going to tell you how many single crochets I have and then we're going to continue here for the yoke. I finished making these single crochets. Now from here up to here, which is the first row here in white, I have a total of 38 single crochets. Now for the yoke here, we're going to make one single crochet on each row. So into the next row, make one, into the next, that's two, Thirteen and fourteen into the chain row. Now, for this part here, you should have a total of fifty-two single crochets. We had thirty-eight plus fourteen. That's fifty-two single crochets. If you have three, four stitches less or more, it's okay. The important thing here is that this part here looks nice. It's nice and straight. You don't have too many stitches. And when you do the other side, you do exactly the same thing. You end up with the same number of stitches in this first row and make sure that it's in multiples of two. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now beginning into the second single crochet, counting from the beginning, one, two, into the second single crochet, make a single crochet, chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next single crochet chain one skip one single crochet chain one skip one single crochet chain one and so on continue finish this second row i will meet you here at the end i'm here at the end of the second row now here at the end into the last single crochet i did my last single crochet I have a total of 26 single crochets plus the two chains here at the beginning now for the third row chain two and turn beginning into the first chain one space here make a single crochet chain one into the next single crochet chain one into the next single crochet chain one and so on continue finish this third row i'll meet you at the end finish making this third row for this first front panel i have 26 single crochets plus the two chains here at the beginning now the front panel is done now we're going to continue all around the neckline so to do this i'm going to chain one and right into this last single crochet that i did at the end of the third row here of the front panel i'm going to make a single crochet single crochet into the next row and single crochet into the next here i have three single crochets but now we have these stitches around the neckline so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to work front post and back post half double crochets you can continue if you like with single crochets it is going to look a little different but for me, I'm going to do front post and back post half double crochets. So beginning here with this first stitch here, make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next and so on. Continue like this all around, just alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet all around the neckline. I will meet you here at this other end. I'm here at the other end of the neckline now. I have a total of 51 half double crochets here. Now we're going to continue here for the second from panel. And here I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did here for this side. I'm going to make sure to have the same number of stitches as I did for the first from panel. So to begin here, I'm going to chain one and right into this space here of where I have the last half double crochet, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next, and so on. Here I did one single crochet for each row. And then for the body here, I did the same thing, one single crochet for each row. And then here I did the last four single crochets. Make sure that you make the same number of single crochets as you did for this side for me i had a total of 52 single crochets so i'm going to make sure to have 52 single crochets so continue finish this first row i'll meet you here at the end i'm here at the end of this first row for the second front panel now i have 52 single crochets now for the second row we're going to chain two and turn 
beginning into the second single crochet counting from the beginning one two make a single crochet chain one skip one single crochet and into the next single crochet chain one skip one and into the next single crochet chain one and so on continue for the second row at the end of the second row you're going to have 26 single crochets plus the two chains for the third row you're going to chain two turn and then repeat the same thing for the third row it's exactly how we did this part here so continue finish the second front panel and then i'll come back and show you how to make the sleeves I finished making the last row here for the second front panel here at the end I did my last single crochet then I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop and then I just hid all my ends so this part here is done now if you notice I did not make any buttonholes because the spaces in between the rows here of single crochets and chain spaces are big enough so this chain space here are big enough for buttons to fit through you can put as many buttons as you want continue watching I will let you know what size buttons I'm going to use and how many I'm going to put on my little jacket you can put as many as you want that would be up to you now since this is for boys this is where the buttonholes are going to go and this is where I'm going to attach my buttons if it's for girls this is where you would attach your buttons and this is where you would uh, use this side for buttonholes so that's what we're going to do so now what we're going to do next is the sleeves I went ahead and did this side already so when you have to do this side you're going to do it exactly in the same way so to begin here we're going to go here to this side and this first row is going to be worked from the wrong side out so we're going to go right here here right under the sleeves we have the four chains that we added insert your hook into this second stitch so that you have the next stitch over here and then two here on the side so right in the center insert your hook right there now I'm going to use the same hook size and this blue yarn now bring a loop through chain one now here place a stitch marker to mark this chain because this is the chain that we're going to join to at the end of the row so now into the next chain right here I'm going to make a half double crochet so here I'm going to begin the pattern so into the next chain make a half double crochet now we have this stitch here that was left when we divided the sleeve so into this stitch space here make a slip stitch and now we have the first single crochet out of the 33 that we left for the sleeve so right into this first single crochet I'm going to make a half double crochet then into the next I'm going to make a slip stitch half double crochet into the next slip stitch into the next and so on here the pattern is the same you just continue with a half double crochet then a slip stitch all around make sure that these stitches are nice and loose so that in the next row you are able to see them especially the slip stitch that's where we're going to make our half double crochets in the next row so continue like this all around for this first row I will meet you right here this is the last uh, single crochet out of the 33 so I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this first row for the first sleeve I'm here at the end of this first row here for the sleeve now up to here I have 35 stitches I have 33 for the sleeve plus the two that we did here at the beginning that's 35 stitches now I need to make three more stitches here so that I finish this row with 38 stitches so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this next space here this is the stitch that was left off when we divided the sleeves so right there I need to make my next stitch which is a slip stitch now I have the remaining two chains so into the next one make a half double crochet and into the last make a slip stitch so here I have 38 stitches at the end of this row to finish I'm going to go right here where I have this stitch marker which is the first chain that we did and I'm going to join with a slip stitch and here's the first row with a total of 38 stitches now for the second row I'm going to chain one and turn here beginning into the first stitch which is the slip stitch that I did at the end of the first row I'm going to begin with a half double crochet this is the row that we're going to repeat from here on and again I'm going to place a stitch marker here to mark this chain because that's where we're going to join at the end of each row now into the next stitch which is the half double crochet make a slip stitch and a half double crochet into the next stitch which is the slip stitch so slip stitch half double crochet 
slip stitch half double crochet and again make sure that these stitches are nice and loose okay so continue like this all around for the second row i will meet you at the end i'm here at the end of the second row i have a half double crochet then i have the last stitch into this last stitch here i'm going to finish the row with a slip stitch now to finish remove your stitch marker and go right into this chain and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finished this second row with 38 stitches from here on this is the row that you're going to repeat so here to start you off in the third row you're going to chain one and turn now you're always going to begin the row with a half double crochet into the last stitch of the pattern which was the slip stitch so make a half double crochet into the next a slip stitch half double crochet into the next a slip stitch into the next and so on so this is how you're going to continue for each row at the end of each row you're always going to have 38 stitches at the end of each row you're always going to finish with a slip stitch and to begin each row you always chain one turn and start with a half double crochet so here to finish you're just going to go to the side where we have the chain join with a slip stitch chain one turn and then begin the next row now we're going to do this for a total of 31 rows which is what i did here so continue make these 31 rows and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i finished making these 31 rows here for the sleeve now what we're going to do next is here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch and now for row 32 this is what we're going to do we're going to chain two and turn now in this row we're going to decrease so beginning into the next two stitches here make a half double crochet skip one stitch and into the next two make a half double crochet skip one stitch and into the next two a half double crochet and so on here we're going to reduce these stitches here so that the cuff here is a little bit tighter around the wrist if you want to continue by just making one half double crochet on each stitch you can i'm going to reduce here and do it like this so continue finish row 32 i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of row 32 here are my last two half double crochets now to finish go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch now i've cut my yarn so i'm just going to pull my yarn through this last loop now at the end of row 32 where we did half double crochets and decreased you should have a total of 26 half double crochets not including the two chains now for row 33 this is going to be the first row here of the cuff i'm going to insert my hook back into that first stitch that we joined to and i'm going to use this white yarn here if you're not changing yarn color then just go ahead and chain one now beginning into this first stitch right here make a front post half double crochet into the next a back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next and so on this is how you're going to continue all around for this row now to finish this row you're going to go on top of the first half double crochet join with a slip stitch at the end of that row you're going to have 26 stitches then you're going to chain one and then repeat the same thing you're going to work these stitches exactly how they are a front post back post front post and back post half double crochets now we're going to do this for a total of two rows so here's the first row so you're just going to make one more row here so continue finish this part and then i'll come back and show you the finished little sweater i finished making this last row here of the cuff at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop so the sleeve is all done and this is how it looks now you're going to do exactly the same thing we did here for this sleeve you're going to do it here for the second sleeve it's done exactly in the same way so make sure to do that so this little jacket is all done i absolutely love this stitch pattern it's so easy and look how beautiful it looks and the yoke it's made all with just single crochet so i hope you like it as well so now let me give you the finished measurement from the top of the neckline here to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 23 centimeters which is about nine inches from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 
15 centimeters, which is about six inches, the total length. From the top of the shoulder to the end here, it's measuring about 26 centimeters, which is about 10.25 inches. And this measurement here, right across, it's measuring about 11 centimeters, which is about 4.25 inches. The chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 23.5 centimeters, which is about 9.25 inches. And the width of the sleeve, I forgot to measure this, it's about eight and a half centimeters, which is about 3.5 inches. So based on these measurements, this little sweater is for baby boys and girls between zero and three months. Now I have completed the little set. I already showed you how to make the little booties, the little hat, and in another tutorial, I'll show you how to make the matching pants. I just finished this tutorial, so I thought I showed you here. And um, stay tuned, in another tutorial, I'm also going to show you how to make the matching baby blanket. Many of you have commented that you love this stitch pattern and I think it's perfect for a baby blanket. So I'll go ahead and show you that in another tutorial. So stay tuned. Now the buttons, I almost forgot to mention, these buttons here are 12 millimeter size and I used five. And remember the button holes are the spaces in between the rows here of single crochet and chain so the chain space is here and I put my buttons here into the second row so the little cardigan sweater is done so make sure to check the information box there I'll leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger and I'll also leave the links to the little hat and the baby booties the pants I'll go ahead and upload that in another tutorial and stay tuned for the baby blanket as well and as always if you prefer a written pattern check out my Etsy shop I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below thank you so much for your support okay so this was today's tutorial I hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time